I was inspired to create this course so that I could share all of the exciting techniques that I have. I love techniques and I love sharing them with people, but I also really love sharing the philosophies behind creating and supporting ourselves to grow as creative people. In creating an online course, I am able to have the time to really share with you some of the fundamental ideas about creativity that are the backbone behind the actual techniques. There's always the pieces that are a little bit fiddly and a little bit hard, but the reality is, is they don't have to be done in the exact way that I teach. I really believe that doing things wrong or not knowing how to do things is a place where authenticity comes from. It's really the foundations, the thoughts, and the building of courage and creativity that, that bring it all together. We are going to start this course by looking at creativity. We're going to be looking at creativity as a skill a skill that you can learn, a skill that you can hone, a skill that you can use in all parts of your life. We are going to engage with journaling and with altar building. Those are both going to support that creative process and help us explore things in different mediums. I'm gonna take you out to one of my favorite places, the Rusty Forest, and there we're going to explore the skill of seeing really looking at how we see. We also are gonna do a little bit of gathering of plants and rust. And then I'm gonna take you to another place that is utterly amazing. And we are going to forage for recycled textiles because a lot of this course is going to embrace the reuse of objects. We are going to be altering our recycled textiles with plant dyeing and rust dyeing and over dyeing and even check out some household chemicals. And that's where the magic is really going to begin. I'm gonna help you with some simple exercises using ink and paper and some modeling clay and that's gonna give us a direction to continue our journey. I'm really looking forward to showing you how to build forms, how to sculpt with fabric. We are going to be doing all kinds of different shapes and forms um, that is going to become an important part of your final object. We're gonna be embroidering. We are, of course, gonna be doing some things wrong. And I'm also gonna take you out of your comfort zone. We are going to be doing some stitching with wire and we may even do a little bit of burning. I'm gonna teach you about composition in a down-to-earth practical way. After we have all of these exciting pieces that we are putting together, we also are going to talk about how to do things sculptural. We are going to talk about whether we will use a substrate or an armature or whether you won't need one at all. But I'm gonna help you figure that out. Lastly, I am going to guide you through those final miles of your journey. We are going to conquer the hard part of finishing, both in its physical ways and its emotional ways. I want you to come to a place of completion and you to be happy with your finished work of art. What you're going to walk away from this course with is a whole bunch of techniques. And you're also going to walk away with some different ways to approach your creativity. Lots of fun exercises that will just help with your originality and help take you out of your brain and really get you in touch with that creative authenticity.